Okay, um, just a couple tweaks for if you can get this out for everybody. Um, Friday at 5, we're going to have a scrimmage. It's going to be a live scrimmage, blue versus white. We split the team up. It's going to start at 5, and then afterwards, whoever's here, autograph <coughs> session, bring what you want. Our guys will stay around and sign autographs, and run around and throw the ball around with kids or whatever you want. So uh, that would be Friday night. And then Saturday morning, we're going to move that fan appreciation up to 9 o'clock. Got a little something special planned for that. And uh, if we can just get the word out, that would be great. Uh, we've had another series of really good practices. We're making tremendous progress. I'm really excited about where we are. Uh, I haven't often been around a team here at UCLA that understands how to compete with the intensity and passion and violence when we're in pads that they do and still take care of each other in a real professional sense. And so it's really encouraging to see that. To me, it shows maturity. Um, kind of building on the theme from spring, you know, I told you guys after spring that I didn't feel like we'd had a bad practice. Um, I felt like the only practice out here that wasn't up to our standards was the very first practice. And since then, I think they've all been outstanding. The tempo has been exactly what we've wanted. Uh, the first week, we, we have a formula as to when we want to snap the ball. The first week, we were trying to snap the ball uh, between 25 and 30 seconds uh, between snaps. This week, we've moved it down to 20 seconds. Next week, we'll move it down to 15. So that's how we're acclimating ourselves to the tempo. Uh, it's just been a really good camp so far, so I'm really excited about where we are. Um, we, as you guys have seen, have changed the way we're um, handling the, the kicking game, the field goal stuff. Uh, I think sometimes it's a little unrealistic and probably unfair to Kaimi to have him go out there and kick eight straight field goals. Uh, that just <laughs> that doesn't happen in a game. So as you've seen the last two days, what we've done is uh, we've incorporated kicks into practice. We send them out there at the end of every, end of every uh, period you know, where we're emphasizing something and having him take two kicks, I think it's really helped him. He hit three there in a row, long distance ones at the end of the practice there in our, uh, to win the game for us. So uh, I just like the things we're doing. I like the way they're working. I like their attitude. They accept the challenge every day, and it's fun to be around them. So that's it. You um, any closer? I mean, obviously you're closer, but I'm getting near a decision about quarterbacks. We are no closer. You're oh. right. We are no closer. No, there's nothing on the horizon with regards to a quarterback decision. What are you waiting to see from somebody? Uh, I'm waiting to see somebody win the job, and no one's won it yet. So what will it take to win the job? A whole host of things. We grade them on everything. Every day they're graded. 24 hours a day they're graded on something. So. Um, what at 2 in the morning are they grading? <laughs> oh, we might be checking to see if they're uh, on huddle, looking at film. We can check if they're watching film or not. So, Who's grading out higher at it? I'm not going to speak to that. It's all very, very close. Very, very close. What's the status of Connor McDermott? Uh, he's getting an MRI. Uh, the feeling is that it's not very serious at all. Uh, Heck, he might be back out here tomorrow, but we just want to be really careful with that. He's so, still here. He's not. No, he's down at UCLA uh, getting an MRI. He gets the MRI in, in uh, 47 minutes, and uh, we'll know something a little later tonight. But he has no swelling. He really has very little pain. Uh, he felt a tiny little pop, uh, so we just want to get it checked out. But no swelling through the night. He's got no instability, nothing like that. It's a knee? It's, uh, it's his knee, yeah. yeah. And then Jake, he just tweaked his uh, uh his uh, calf a little bit, and uh, he's day to day. He should be back pretty quick. Alex was back today, but what, what happened yesterday? Nothing. He was he was here yesterday afternoon. Practice did a nice job. Yeah, he has no injuries, no no issues with him. I know you said you haven't seen much separation yet, but what have you seen from Josh from senior film to spring ball, from spring ball to now? Uh, he's able to handle the speed of this game, and he's uh, mentally capable of handling. Uh, what he needs to handle in terms of adjustments and understanding scheme and understanding, you know, coverages. Uh, he just makes progress every day. He's like everybody. You know, he makes progress. Now he's going against a really good defense every day, and they're putting tremendous pressure on him. So it's not easy. It's not easy for any of those guys. I mean, our defense is is pretty darn good, and uh, and we're bringing a lot of heat. So. Uh, they're having to earn their completions and earn their yards, and it, it sometimes looks sloppy uh, for the quarterbacks out here, but I think in the long run, it's something that's really going to help them. You know, I would rather them experience those types of things here in San Bernardino and get it sorted out and get used to that feeling of that constant pressure than to get into a game at the Rose Bowl on the fifth and have that happen for the first time. So 
But Josh, you know, he just, he's a very smart young man who has a real high aptitude for this game. Have you brought more pressure this fall camp than you did previously? Yeah, much more. Yeah, much more. Um, it, it fits our personality. It fits our, I think, the, the profile of our athletes. You know, we've got some guys that can come downhill and hit it with aggressiveness. You know, you think about Miles and, and Kenny Young and, and, uh, and uh, AWOL and Dion. And, uh, you know, we're pretty good when we, when we hit it downhill. So we're doing more of that. Less of the defensive back stuff with switches and off the edge and more just straight at you which I think helps us in the run game as well. So and I think the players like it as well, and they're getting a, a real good understanding of timing it up and moving in and out of it and disguising it and dropping and holding the disguise and coming late. And it does, like I said, it makes it hard on the young quarterbacks, you know, the inexperienced quarterbacks. And, uh, and then we've got some guys that can cover, you know, and when you've got guys that can cover, you feel comfortable pressuring as long as you can stop the run. You know, there's always, when you pressure a lot, I and mean, there's a give and a take. I mean, you're going to make some great plays, and it's going to be awesome, but all of a sudden, if you're not in the right gap and they break it, it's really ugly. So, How much is that for the personnel you have, and how much is that is what Bradley's brought? It's both. It's a combination. I mean, we've always had pressures, uh, but, you know, we haven't necessarily always had the guys that had the, uh, the mindset or maybe the physical attributes to bring it. You know, everyone's built to do something a little bit differently. Um, you look at, at Kenny Young, and he's more of a downhill player. And, you know, he has a, a pretty good feel for, for attacking the line of scrimmage and getting skinny in gaps and things like that. So you just want to take advantage of that as much as you can. Has Ishmael Adams kind of settled into that nickel rule more? Well, that's all he's ever played since he's been here. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been our nickel. He started as a nickel as a freshman before he got hurt. So he, uh, yeah, I would say after three years, he's, <laughs> he's settled into it pretty well. Mm -hmm. This is his fourth year, actually. So, yeah, he's pretty darn good in there, really good in there. The status of Tavito Halalilo, because without him, with the loss at OL, it's just kind of like a domino effect. Yeah, you know, he, uh, he, got, he got knocked in the head the other day took a pretty good shot. Uh, interestingly, he had the uh, helmet sensor in, so we were able to record the, the impact, and it was significant. Um, he was making real good progress. He is making good progress in our concussion protocol and return to play protocol, and uh, the, the, the step before he comes out on the field was to ride the bike this morning and see if he had any effects, and he felt some nausea when he got on the bike, so um, we're going to hold him for a couple more days. Obviously, we're always going to err on the side of caution when it comes to a head injury. Um, but uh, he was making progress. You saw what we did today with Jake out is we put uh, Alex at center and put um, Freddie Lee Perry at right guard. Uh, Fred's been one of the more impressive freshmen in this camp. Heck, one of the more impressive players. And the guy is really going to be special. So, uh, but it, you know, it's going to be hard for him to break that starting lineup, but he gives us some versatility. He can play center, he can play guard. And Alex can play center and guard as well. How's so. Colton Miller looked at left tackle? He's still good. He's a talented guy. You know, he's, he's six foot seven, eight, nine, and he's 295 pounds. And he can bend. Um, you know, really, the only thing he lacks is experience. He's athletic. He's very smart. He understands it. He's got a lot of confidence right now. Um, you know, maybe it's a, a little bit of a blessing that you know, he's going to get some work here with the ones. You know, and if Connor has anything at all, we're going to hold him. Be very careful with that, and that'll give. Uh, Guys, you know, a chance to rotate in there and get some extra work. How's uh, Bolu doing? Like he was out he a little bit. He tweaked his ankle. It's nothing serious. Um, he went through warm ups and then we put him on the bike. Probably a day to day thing. Kind of like Ish was the other day. It's not, you know, he's really not limping a lot. He just, when he tries to cut, it's bothering him. And then I think I told you Manfro had the surgery and they the shaved the, yeah, the meniscus. And he's back at school and he's doing fine. So hopefully we'll have him back for Virginia as well. Is there any thought to Darius Pickett at any point trying out a running back again? No, he's you know what he's a he's a DB. I mean he's he's better at on defense than he is on offense. And, I mean if you moved him to offense, uh, he'd be like six six fifteen running back. I mean, we've got good backs now. When you talk about Keith Perk, Starks, Bolu, Soso, Manfro, Rosie. And then Craig Lee will be back with us when we get back, you know, to camp to campus. I mean, I didn't know I lost count. It was a lot. Okay? Yeah. So we've got a really good backfield.